Hi, Odyssey Camper here. I just wanted to do a quick video about my rooftop solar panel. This is going to be a companion video to the DIY article on odysseycamper.com. Uh, there are some things that are shown better with the video and some things that are shown better with photos. And when I set off to build this, I quickly discovered it was really hard to shoot video while I was assembling something. So I thought I'd do this video to point out a couple things and then do a step-by-step -step with parts list and whatnot. And I'll stick that up on odysseycamper.com. But uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is putting a luggage rack on a Honda Odyssey. If you buy the factory rack, these things cost between $200 and $300. And once you put the rack on, you still have to buy the cross pieces for another $100. In my opinion, the cross pieces were not strong enough to hold the solar panel. So I constructed mine out of aluminum strut. And yeah, it was pretty easy to mount the solar panel in between with four screws. And this has stayed on for 4,400 miles without loosening up, so I'm fairly confident now that it's strong and a good system. Um, but one of the things I found when I was building this is that these roof rails are not parallel. The channels cut into the roof get closer together as you get to the back. So if you want to mount the panel toward the back of the vehicle like I did, I wanted to get it as far back as possible, you, uh, you have to improvise because these slots in here are not all going to line up and what I ended up having to do is drill a hole back here in order to get everything to line up properly. So to get the same amount of overhang on both sides and to get it as far back on the roof as I wanted I, I had to go ahead and drill new holes. Uh, so to do this job I kind of wanted to build something that anybody could build without any specialized tools, but I will say you're going to need a drill. Uh, other than that, no specialized tools required. So the first step was to cut back the rubber stripping, get access to the threaded studs that stick up out of the roof. Those are M6 threads. I've seen it elsewhere where people say they're quarter 20 or quarter 28 or something. They're not. Uh, if you think about it, it'd be kind of strange for Honda to uh, make everything in the vehicle metric except for those roof studs. So they are M6. So you'll need M6 standoffs to do this. But you can reveal these standoffs underneath and they make great mounting points. Uh, you can see this is very secure. It's not going anywhere. Nothing's flopping. Nothing's loose. And again, that's after 4,400 miles at 80 plus miles an hour at different times. So uh, it held up well. And then... I ran the wires down through a hole that I drilled in this little plastic piece in the back. Now when this is mounted and you have the rubber piece in place, the front of this is captivated and it can't go anywhere. Unfortunately when I pulled off the rubber strip, I discovered that this is no longer captivated. So to get out on the road for my trip, I just put some black duct tape on there and it held fine. So uh, it wasn't a problem, but I wanted a more permanent solution uh, to build in the off season. The other thing you may notice is that the panel doesn't tilt. Uh, it's, it's set up to be flat, and that's fine in the summertime. It worked great, uh, no problems. In the wintertime, you're probably going to want that to tilt. So the next revision of this, I'll add a tilting mechanism in so I can get this angled up a little bit better in the wintertime, or maybe all the way up to 90 degrees. That'd probably be a smart way to do it. Um, so going down to the back here, you can see where I ran the wire through the plastic out under here, and then... For this trip, I just ran it down the side and put it against the rubber and ran it in the back. The reason I ran it all the way down the side is so if water follows it, it ends up down on the bumper and it doesn't come in the top here. Um, right now I've got the van converted back for business duties. I do have to work sometimes to get the money to go out on the road, so <laughs> right now I'm working. Uh, so that's put back together and I was about to pull the solar panel off and I figured I'd shoot a quick video. So this cable runs all the way to the front. For a more permanent solution, I'll probably pull the tail light out with these two screws, run it inside through the bodywork, and then underneath this plastic panel up toward the front so it's not out. And, you know, as it was during the trip, it was under my bed, so no one's going to step on it or anything. But um, if you'd like a more permanent solution, I would run it inside there. Now, what I like about this panel is that when you stand off to the side, you really can't tell there's a solar panel up there. I'm 6'5", I'm holding this camera up at eye level. And if you know to look for a solar panel, you might see that, but otherwise you're not going to notice it. And then from the front of the vehicle, it just looks like some type of a ladder rack or work truck rack. So it's pretty stealthy. I didn't design it to be the ultimate in stealth, but it kind of turned out that way. And I'm going to climb up top here. You'll notice that there's actually room 
to put a second panel. Initially, I was going to put two of these panels, and then I went on Amazon to buy one, and they were all out. So I just put the 160-watt panel. Eventually, this will be 120 watts. So that's a quick overview of uh, what I built. Uh, I think I got 100 bucks into it, plus the solar panel. Maybe not even that much. That'll be in the DIY article on odysseycamper.com. So go check that out and that'll have the rest of the information if you spotted this video as soon as it got put up on youtube it may take me a week or so to get that article up so come on come on back all right thanks for watching